situation calls to bring them in and then a bit of egg to entice them onto the white spot. So after morning waits I'll wait with them back at the burrow until they leave to forage and then I'll follow them taking a GPS point every 15 minutes and noting down any interesting behaviours along their route in the morning. half-hourly sentinel and foraging scans. So in the summer months we come back to the field station in the middle of the day and this gives us a chance to input data on the eight habituated mongoose groups we have here on Sarabi. When we head out in the afternoon we go back to the area where we last saw the dwarf mongoose in the morning. If they're not exactly where we left them we will search in the vicinity and hopefully find them, but sometimes you can go a while without finding them again. The afternoon is then pretty similar to the morning in terms of data collection. We will follow the group to a sleeping burrow so we know where they are the following morning. We will then do evening waits and wait with them until the last mongoose goes to bed. That's a day in the life of a mongoose researcher.